thinking about what to do as a World Music Day special, I wondered if I could possibly answer the question I'm asked more than any other as a composer by people starting out, and that is, what is the best sample library to buy when you're kind of setting up shop, when you're starting out? And I somewhat annoyingly always reply, one of these, an SM57, it's about a hundred dollars, will last you for the rest of your life, and with one of these you can have any sample library you damn like. You see, for me, composers are like chefs, and like any chefs, we can go and buy a pre-made cheese and pickle sandwich, or indeed we can go home, get some bread out of the cupboard, get some Branston out, whack some cathedral cheddar on the bread, and hey presto, a cheese and pickle sandwich, but this does not make you a chef. Now, I think in order to qualify as a chef, you need to be able to learn how to make the cheese, make the bread, pickle some fruit. So I thought, seeing as I'm in Tokyo and am a long, long way away from my sample drives, that I would find something in my hotel room and see if I could make an entire track out of that one single object. A wine glass, which I have stolen. Uh, the thing with hotel wine glasses is they're kind of pretty much unbreakable and therefore don't resonate very much. But what's good about it is I can't hear many kind of notes, many overtones uh, within this very short uh, ring out. So I think it's going to kind of sound quite sine wavy, which always suits something that's over several pitches. So I'm going to try and get all of the kind of the assets we need first. Then time for a bit of spectral denoise in Isotope RX. I pull this Enard file into Logic and divide it into three distinct categories, hits, slaps, and ticks. That isn't designed to be a Logic or EXS or even sampling tutorial. I just hope it kind of demonstrates the way I go around taking a simple object like this and turning it into an entire track. I hope that you take inspiration for this so that you can make your own cheese, your own bread, your own pickle, and it may not be the best cheese and pickle sandwich in the world, but it'll be yours. Every ingredient you have crafted out of your heart and love, and I promise you, people will love you more for it. I then strip silence these files to automatically make the samples, with the hits getting a long tail, the slaps and ticks a shorter one. I save these down as individual files, which logic kind of numbers automatically. So pulling in hits here, it goes from one to six, which I'm going to basically all put on one key and then select by velocity. I'm going to make it very crowded from 100 up because it's difficult to play notes beneath 100 on MIDI keyboards. I then tune it against an EVP-88 or an electric piano. I then stretch those sample ranges across the entire keyboard and save. Time for the slaps. I'm going to take the front hit of the wine glass and make it into a kick by tuning down, filtering and boosting the EQ of the bottom end. I had already duplicated this track without the processing for our other slap at the back of the glass which will make our kind of snare sound. Right, time to import all of those tick sounds into consecutive regions in EXS and then tune up massively to form a hi-hat sound. An old school way of programming round robins so you can ultimately control it during your performance. Right, a hit. Through a massive reverb, 100% wet, I'm going to re-filter the top end a little bit so it's not so brittle and then bounce that back into Logic. I'm then going to take the file and concentrate not on the attack at the front but the tail. I'm going to time stretch it so it creates some weird artifacts in Logic so it's not just reverby, if you will. Duplicate the file, reverse that, and then join these up with a massive equal power in the middle. This is going to form a kind of interesting choral paddy sound. So this is forwards and then slowly fades out and into backwards here. Uh, once I bounce these and loop them within the sampler, we'll have this undulating pad sound, which I hope will be really, really gorgeous. 
So just one sample for this entire sound. I'm going to loop the central section here with a massive crossfade, but because we've added in these time stretch elements and we've got the undulating forwards and backwards of the sound, I think just this single sample across the entire keyboard is gonna hold our interest. Right, don't try this at home kids. I basically broke one of my laptop speakers by practicing this earlier. I'm gonna get one of those hits like the one we had in the reverb, but put them into a self oscillating delay. You can do this by simply setting the feedback levels so they feed back against themselves and the delay time really short. So it actually kind of feeds back on itself and it's the speed of the delay that forms the pitch. Now this is at zero dB, much, much louder than you hear it here. And I'm really interested in that end section there. It's got a little crunch because we're gonna pitch this down as our bass sound. Hopefully that'll sound really cool. So again, pull it into an EXS, single sample across the entire length of the keyboard. I'm gonna make it legato and put a little bit of portamento on for kind of dubstep bass styling. Right, I'm basically going to perform what's known as a mouse mix. I'm going to duplicate some tracks, mess with their pitches, and then do some form of kind of scratch arrangement. Whilst this isn't going to win any compositional awards anytime soon, the whole process from recording the wine glass to making this arrangement took roughly an hour, including arranging it and mixing it. Happy World Music Day and indeed happy summer solstice. Sorry I couldn't be in Edinburgh today to go on a walk, but if you keep an eye on my social Twitter, Instagram, links below. I'm going to be organising a late summer solstice walk very soon and hope to meet a few of you up north back in Scotland when I get back. Thanks as always for watching. Subscribe if you haven't done already. Ding that bell if you want to be notified the next time I put a video up. And one of those always much appreciated. Happy World Music Day.